Okay, so what we've done now, instead of it being a quarter in away Shondell, it's now a quarter in, in Shondell. So we'll take a look at one before we make any kind of plan. You'd think it'd be the mirror image of what we've just done. Yeah. We've shot it on the rise and we've made a diagonal line going up. Yeah. Now we're going to shoot it on the drop and we think, but I'm actually going to do the exact opposite of that. So what I'm going to do is predetermine my drop, how much I'm going to shoot under it. And then what I'm going to do is make almost a straight line across. So yeah, okay. whatever you did on the first one, yeah. we're going to do here because I'm going to try and keep that bird in view. So it's above my barrel. So I'm not going to maintain it. I'm not going to have the gun over here. I'm going to be directly underneath it, watching it quarter in, and then I'll make a pull away move on a tram line and almost watch it drop into the shot. So let's just take a look what that looks like. Pull. So as you'll see, I insert underneath, move across, and watch it come back to me. Yeah. It's quite a different move. So you've it's, it's, it's a move that takes a lot of practice, guys, because you get quite disconnected from the clay. So you're going to tend to want to lift your hands up yeah, yeah. and then you're going to come at it at a different way. So we're going to try and hold that parallel line, prejudging the lead. Pull, insert underneath, tram line across and watch it come back into the shot, okay? Let's just see you try a couple. Pull. Good. So we've got two disconnected and the yeah. drop was too big. Let's try and stay, you know, how much lead does it want underneath here? So it's not going to want a massive amount, yeah. is it? Because so, it's so close. So whatever you want to be underneath what you, your final drop, yeah. that's where you start. Okay. Okay, when you're ready. Oh. So the clay goes above your barrel, you're moving across. Beautiful. Try and slow your hands down a little bit. Okay. Go again. Pull. Slowing your hands down. There's the move. Yeah, that so, felt right, that one. so again, we're keeping it in view all the time yeah. before making that pull away move into the lead. Just do that two more times. Pull. Nice. Pull. Good, so we're fortunate enough to have two traps set up here. So if I can just step in, yep. the shot cam's fired up. What I'm gonna try and do now is shoot the first chandelle on report the second chandelle to show the two different moves. So hat to be A report B. So you'll see me go up the line on a diagonal line to the first bird before dropping underneath the second one and make it a tram line parallel move back across. Pull. Then we're up. Now we're down, watching the eyes come straight back in. Hopefully you'll pick that up on there. So quartering in and quartering out, whether if it was a standard clay, I would shoot the same. I'd come in from behind with my negative hold on a Shondell. It completely changes the system, whether it's going away or coming in. And hopefully that answers the question you guys had on those targets. Good luck. <laughs>